Uh, we completed two months since my last report, month two and month three. We're in the middle of month four. We've also, and I don't have any handouts to give you tonight, so I'm just going to read these off. We've also uh, submitted our growth factor report. And what that growth factor is, is it, it takes month one and month two, and it gives us a projection of what our ADA is going to be for the rest of the year. Uh, real quickly, uh, month one or month two, we finished at 93% uh, ADA. As opposed to last year, it was 91.35, so we'll continue to see that upward trend, which is good. Now, last year, if you remember, <coughs> month three, we had sickness in our district. Uh, so we, we made real big gains there uh, as opposed to last year. Month three this year, 92.51. Uh, month three last year, we were at 84 ADA. Uh, and, and that was a trend that we kind of struggled with. We stayed in the 80s for several months thereafter that. Uh, when we submitted our growth factor, we received it back on uh, uh, late October. Our growth factor last year, our eight, uh, ADA at the end of the year last year was 1977. Our project, projected growth factor is 1996, which puts us in something that's been new for me as a, as a trending upward, a growing district. Uh, first time since I've been here that that's happened, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, that, if you, Take that out to calculate our seat, which is roughly around 5,000, our total seat, our base 6,300, something like that. We're looking at about $100,000 net gain for a district business in ADA law in our seat funds. So that's, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, we continue to diligently, and I'm sure some of your constituents have talked to you about the truancy letters. Uh, we have been diligent in those I, every single day. You can talk to Michelle, and, and she'll tell you there's three or four parents in every day concerned about their attendance. It's working. Uh, it's working in school to talk to the uh, more forgotten today and talk to their attendance manager. The letters are working and, just, it, and, and it just, it is. And they realize, the parents do, that we're not letting their kids step through the cracks. Well, and too, if there's like oversights that, you know, the log wasn't kept exactly accurate or something, exactly. they can go back and fix it. And, we've, I, I, and that catches a lot of I spent a lot of time on the phone this afternoon with a lady that had that happen. Her child was sick. And, she sent the excuse with the child, but it didn't get you know from the child to the appropriate place. And, and most all the time that happens. Uh, it's, it's just a failure of getting it to the right person or be stuck in the back pocket. Uh, so that happens quite a bit. Uh, you know, we've had a tremendous start for you. Like Mr. Huntley said, uh, we're getting into the weather period. Uh, we've got eight days <coughs> built into our calendar as makeup days. Those days primarily happen in March. So hopefully we'll get through this semester and I've had this happen in the last couple of years. Get through this semester, not miss any days. Statistics and going back to look at past calendars, that's not the case. Uh, but hopefully, we, we're, we're doing a good year as far as weather base. We're doing a good year. Uh, and we'll start getting that information out. We've, we've done a little bit of it, especially the first of the school year, talking about the calendars. And let parents know that we, we've tried to plan for that. We've tried to do the best we could as far as alleviating the, June, the late June days like we've had the last couple of years. That being said, we can't control the weather. The weather impacts everything we do, and we're going to always err on the side of safety. That's the, that's the primary thing that we always take into consideration. It's not just for our students, but for our staff. We always want to err on the side of safety. So, you know, we, like I said, our numbers are good. They're good, strong. Uh, talked to a couple other districts uh, that are similar size to us, and we're actually ahead of them. Uh, our, our numbers are stronger than most districts around us, so I, I'm pleased. <coughs> Questions?